Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for Mega House, the new line variable action D spec, and in which uh, they create uh, super deformed versions of the characters. And we have Grungus Taibo from the Super Robot Wars original generation, although they are def uh, depicted as super deformed already in the game. Now, this is going to be a blind review, and as always, I know little or none at all about the character, but it looked amazing, and so I got it. <laughs> Also, these are quite expensive. The D spec line are about fifty or eighty to eighty dollars, or a little bit more. So I actually got this for when it went down to into clearance. I think I paid about fifty around that price point. So I get a bit of a discount there. Yeah, they're just so expensive for what you're getting, but they look great. If you really like this character, this is probably something that you wanted to check out. Here's the box, looks cool, and you got this awesome giant sword, the Zankanto. Yep. Kinda wish to make a mole kit of this, hopefully Kotobuki uh, make uh, or push through with Super Robot on the d -style line, but something tells me it's through licensing and maybe it's not that popular, but I will definitely pick it up if they do decide to do that. Here's the top. Because so, uh, these style line, for the most part, they're about thirty bucks, and I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind paying thirty bucks for a kit of this. Especially sometimes the D style, they're really simple kits, but they've put so uh, quite a bit of a thought on making them, and they have really cool gimmicks, like simple gimmicks that make it work. <laughs> and it's a whole kit. All right, so that's enough for the box. Let's take a look inside. All right, let's start with the base here. Gungrass typo. Yep. Nifty clear base, and I think it's kind of standard for all of these specs that you have screw joints here, which you can tighten over time when they get loosed. Get a connection point there. You can move this also and to the base. Yep. All right. In terms of accessories, we have three pairs of hands. I think that's kind of like standard out uh, with the D spec line. We have the closed fist. You have the open hand here, and you have the hand uh, to wield the weapon. You got the Zankato here. It looks great. Actually, let's just start with the review on this one. Uh, not too bad on the paint, although there's a little bit of a mess up right there. But something tells me that's where kind of like the gates are. Really nicely painted. And I do notice that there's a couple of a uh, thruster details here and it is a giant sword and it just would make sense to have thrusters all over it just to help uh, Gungrus to cross it forward or even a uh, swipe this way ah, it looks great I like this for the hands in terms of details you get the metallic red on here same thing with these guys here. And I cannot get him to stand on its own because of how ridiculous his body proportions are. <laughs> and also, actually let me just demonstrate that the waist joint is not that stiff. I could probably tighten that up but it's it's really hard to just have him stand on his own either leans forward or leans back so you gotta use the stand for the most part all right uh, let's take a look in terms of paint app really great i really like this shiny gold it's a nice shade of gold and now uh, you got this metallic red here quite nice I get a little bit of paint mess up here and there. It's little small things that sometimes I notice. <laughs> it's not too bad. Certain points like this corner here, that might get uh, rubbed on or over time. So be careful on those uh, points. But that metallic red is really nice. Then you got silvers here on the thrusters on the wings. These are some crazy thrusters. I do notice that certain parts there are screws kind of put things together I don't feel any die cast on this it's just mostly plastic 
even a uh, frontier yeah that's just plastic in terms of reticulation uh we have the neck here which oh that's interesting oh okay there's a swivel in front of the neck it allows him to look down <laughs> And the eyes are really great too. You get the metallic green. Yep. Also, I've noticed the face uh, in terms of the mouth. On certain angles, like he's smiling here, but when you look down, or actually when you, when you do a top-down view, he looks like he's smiling. But from the top, it looks like a uh, he's pouting or a, like serious look. Just the way it's angled, interesting. Then you have the shoulder here, which it's kind of limited, but you can move it up. This uh, section here, it's connected on the front side. So you can move that up and down. I think this one is just connected on a hinge here. And you got this soft uh, plastic that's connected on both that part. <laughs> yeah. And I see a screw there that's holding everything together, that shoulder joint. Yeah. Kind of wish you could move this up and down too. Well, yeah, you can't. Then you have this bowl joint here, which you can pop out. Kind of wonder if you can uh, swap this out with the other D spec. Probably you can. And that kind of just adds on the playability of. Uh, Making it on Super Robot. <laughs> Put that back on. So you got that bull joint there. Then uh, you got the swivel here on the other of the underarm. And you got bicep swivel, elbow bed, and it's only one joint on here towards the forearm. It's not too bad. So you got that uh, bend there. Then you get the wrist joint here. Yep. It's actually jointed the wrist towards the forearm there's a joint then towards the uh, hand here it's another joint hmm, interesting other than that I don't think there's anything you can do with this it's kind of like it's generator again I'm not too familiar with Grungust in terms of his packs or, or his abilities but yeah <laughs> I would assume he's uh, some kind of a special beam coming from this or his torso and something to do with a sword now the waist it is kind of loose yep it's probably just a peg there there's no up crunch you got this uh front skirt which is not a joint yeah i think that's just slab in so you cannot really move that up or down yeah unfortunately then you have this uh, legs here which can freely move and you got a swivel there that's great and uh, you got a knee bend about 90 degrees it feels like you can turn on that segment there but it does not let you then uh, you have articulated ankle yeah, it's actually really cool how much you can turn that or just a lot of articulation on the leg then you have a toe articulation as well and you got this little things that i'm not sure they're ball jointed if they're meant to move forward like that but there are hollow parts there but nonetheless a nice touch really cool and i think i pretty much covered uh for the most part the articulation and again you gotta use a stand on this. He does not want to stay put. <laughs> the stand is just uh, that point of connection on the back there. Just put this on here. Uh, let me see here. I don't think you can pop out the backpack. Nope. I kind of wish you can. And uh, well, then again, it's just a backpack. Uh, this is part of his shoulder. So you can't really take that out if you want to swap it out with other ones. Yeah, there goes my idea. <laughs> but you can swap off the shoulder. 
this whole thing. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and swap uh, Siren Hand. All right, so uh, let's pop this out. There we go. And that's what I'm afraid of. It's easily pop off there, but let's see if we can. Oh, you can. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess that's the easiest way to swap it out. Since uh... there we go. Find an easier way to do that. Because it's gonna be hard uh, taking that uh, wrist joint. Then you got a Sankato here. Really cool. Now for this one, you can I think you can wield it with both hands since uh, in terms of the width, you have enough space. Yep. But I'm just gonna do it with one hand. Alright, so uh, to put this on, just put it in between the thumb and the rest of the fingers. There we go. And just should have done it the other way. Kind of just twist it around. There we go. Surprisingly, he can hold it up. Yeah, the joint is stiff enough. Well, for the most part. But yeah, that that is some giant sword. <laughs> I'll probably have him uh, rest on his shoulder, but the shoulder there's huge generators or turbines on it. It does not work. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? Let's go try that out. Why not? All right, so let's go swap this out. Again, easier just put this on. There we go. And pry out the other one. Put this on here. And let's see if I can uh, be able to reach this. And uh, dual wield it. Open this up a little bit more. Yeah, this is gonna be hard to do. So it's gonna be some crazy contraption. Look at that. What the heck just happened? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm not sure if he can even wield it the way I want it to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're almost there. Oh, let's pop this back in first. And we're just gonna play with this wrist. I think probably the best way is to remove the wrist. Uh, or remove the hands by the wrist. I think it's just limited on how much you can hold it. Uh, there's not much shoulder swivel but I guess that works that way so you can hold it with both hands it looks ridiculous but uh, the whole <laughs> super thing is kind of ridiculous but amazing at the same time there you go although I'll probably just wield him or have him wield it with one hand and probably use this open hands on the left yep and uh, I think that's about it and here's a comparison with X Bean, and both of them look great. Yep. <laughs> so just a recap on our review. In terms of the paint app, he looks great. Grungust. I think they did an awesome job on that one. In terms of articulation, for the most part, it's great too. Uh, you got pretty much articulation for a normal figure. And you got the knees and elbow, which is sometimes rare on a super new form. Uh, you don't have die cast though, but certain Things like uh, in terms of articulation, I prefer without die cast since that usually weighs down the figure unless it's just standing. But for this one, uh, they're great on aerial poses. And definitely you don't want die cast on the feet all with that. Maybe on the torso in certain parts, but not on the legs. Else you cannot do the leg up or the knee up or certain poses like that. But um, other than that, I think the major drawback on this is price. Again, they're quite expensive. Kind of wish it went with a lower price point. I think a good one is probably around 50. I think there's more draw to it, but 80, yeah, that's just a little bit too much for what you're getting. Yeah, unfortunately. And on that note, for that price point, you're hoping to get more gimmicks and accessories. 
unfortunately you don't. You get three pairs of hands and a sword. Or actually for the most part, whatever I've seen, you got three pairs of hands and a weapon. That's it. Yeah, it seems lacking. And I kind of wish there's a bit more. <laughs> But other than that, yeah, th these are great figures, uh, especially if you're a big fan of Super Robot Wars and particularly the Grand Gust or the x Bean. And uh, would I recommend them? Only if you can get them on clearance. Yeah. Well, that's just my opinion, but if you can get them for a good price, go for it. I think they're really great, that uh, display pieces. Yeah, they look amazing. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for the review. Um, if you have any other questions for this for the figures in particular, I'll try to answer that for you, but if something about the character or about the gameplay that I cannot answer. Anyways, that's it for the review, again. <laughs> so until then, this is Beads. Thanks for watching.